All right, everybody. Uh, I figured it was time to make an update video. Um, I figured I would update it, update some stuff while at least getting some work done because I never seem to actually upload any new videos. Um, so today, uh, for those of you who've been paying attention on Facebook, you would have seen a notification um, about some new releases that just came out. Um, now, uh, two big ones, okay? Now, a, a huge one, at least it's huge in my opinion, um, is we've just added the ability for you to go in and um, delete check engine lights while the vehicle's running, the engine's running, driving down the road. Um, there's some times where something's wrong with your vehicle uh, and it causes a periodic limp mode and you're traveling across the country. Well, what do you do? You gotta pull off the highway, shut the vehicle off, delete the code, restart it. Well, it takes too much time. Um, so what, by us developing that, us, we are releasing new updates of the tune to remove that starting today. Um, so any customers that already have my tuning will get the newest update that has that built into it. Um, so you can literally uh, be on the easy link or a, a banks monitor, an eye dash, an edge, whatever you have. Um, and you can just, oh, Oh, check engine light pops up check to see what the check engine light says um, you know write it down so you don't lose it and you can clear the code uh, and keep driving you don't have to shut it off you don't have to put it neutral you don't have to and, and I've done that I've done it where we've, we've put the vehicle in accessory while cruising down the road in neutral cleared the code started back up put it in drive and kept driving just because uh, like we had a trailer on we didn't want to have to stop and have to get back up the speed and risk throwing the code while coming back up to speed again. Um, so it's, it, it's, it's a big deal. Um, at least in my, in my opinion, um, it is a big deal um, to do that. Um, and I feel like a lot of other people might agree, um, maybe not. Um, the other big release um, is the completion of the four bar map sensor and the four bar map sensor tuning. Um, those of you who are not aware, a uh, four bar map measures um, it's about 58 PSI, uh, including atmospheric pressure. And atmospheric pressure is roughly 14, 14 and a half, sometimes 15. Um, so at 58 PSI, um, that means it'll read up to 44 PSI of boost, um, which obviously um, you're not going to do on a standard eco diesel without a compound. but the turbo that's on there is rated 34 PSI, okay? The stock sensor is a three bar, which is only 43 and a half PSI. Once you take out, let's say 14 and a half for atmospheric pressure, you're at 29 PSI, meaning yes, you could set the tune for it to hit 29 PSI boost. Here's the problem. Once you pass 29 PSI boost, um, the engine has no control over it. It's going to open the vanes to the minimum vane position per map, um, and try to pull boost, um, which in a stage one or a low powered stage two, that might be okay um, because you're not forcing the turbo to spool. Um, in applications, the higher horsepower application stage two, when we are adding extra fuel, things like that, when we're generating heat, we're actually forcing the turbo to spool. Um, you can actually put your truck into limp mode with a stage two um, and with enough fuel, you can actually spool the turbo to max boost uh, because the partially burnt fuel is, generates a shitload of heat, which is expansion of air, uh, which will spin the turbo faster. Um, I've seen 20 some PSI in limp mode um, from using fuel to spool the turbo. Um, we've spooled a eco diesel, as of right now, the highest we've spooled an eco diesel is 55 PSI in the factory turbo because of the lack of control. And when we did this on uh, this truck, uh, a friend of mine's truck, when we were doing some testing, um, it basically developed the idea like, hey, we need to generate a, uh, or create a, a, a safety net in order to prevent this, a way where a customer can have more, more boost, more power, um, while at the same time having more control and more safety over the engine. Um, so the four bar map sensor is an amazing upgrade and it is going to be one of the best upgrades that you can do uh, for safety and power on your vehicle. 
Um, today I hit uh, 51 uh, PSI in my Jeep, and this is a stage one Jeep, I hit 51 PSI. Now, er, let me rephrase that, when I said 55 PSI earlier, I'm talking straight boost pressure, 55 PSI, no atmosphere. Today I hit 51 PSI in my Jeep, including atmospheric pressure, um, which would be uh, 37 PSI. So in my Jeep today I hit 37 PSI. Um, as a test to make sure that we had everything properly running. So um, I'm super happy with how that turned out. Um, we are going to releasing that actually here on the website. Um, I'm actually on the website right now and I'm actually turning the map sensor back on. We, uh, it took a little bit longer to get the, the tuning where we wanted it. Um, so I actually took it off the website um, in order to I guess slow down the amount of orders because we actually sold a shitload of them uh, and didn't obviously didn't want to piss a bunch of a bunch of people off. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we wanted it to make sure that hey, like we're gonna have a bunch of we're gonna have happy customers. I mean, that's that's it. At the end of the day, we want to have happy customers. Um, so I'm re-adding it to the website right now. The four bar map sensor. Um, and like I said, it is an absolute must, uh, and I highly recommend it um, for anyone, even in a stock situation. Now, we don't even have to turn your boost up. We can turn your boost up the same way we do it normally, um, but you just get a larger safety net. That's all it is. So I actually set the boost uh, right now on our tuning finals to 27 PSI, um, which in my opinion, it sucks because it's a little low. You're leaving seven PSI on the table. Um, so, it's, I mean, you're, you're losing some power there. You're definitely losing some power there. Um, so I highly recommend getting the sensor no matter what. Um, you can even, if you're even worried about your stock vehicle, um, we can do a, um, a three and a half bar upgrade, um, which is, so if we have 43 and we have 58, uh, it's gonna be somewhere in the middle, which is 15, so seven and a half. So 50, 15 and a half PSI. Uh, take 14 and a half off again, and you're roughly at 36 PSI, um, which gives you uh, seven more PSI uh, of control uh, to play with. So I highly recommend it. Um, I, the price is gonna be the same, so I just recommend doing the four bar personally. Um, but like I said, um, it, it's definitely an option or an upgrade that's 100% worth doing. Um, four bar maps four bar map sensor upgrade and it is live on both of the websites um even in stock form um and most people don't know this we do offer um stockish tuning uh if you want um for your vehicle as well uh we just don't advertise it on the website because it hasn't been something super common that people have wanted to this point uh with that being said uh if you've been watching our videos we have a um a new stage one that we're going to be releasing soon that I've been testing personally on my Jeep. Uh, and I've been very, very happy with it. Um, obviously mine right now is set to 34 PSI up top. Um, and it makes decent power. Um, it just doesn't, you know, there really is a need for more fuel up top. Um, so after I get the stage one a little bit more where I want it, uh, I'm going to hopefully have a little bit more time to play with some fuel when getting on it. Um, and allow for a higher power stage one, um, you know, which would obviously just create uh, a regen more often if you beat on it a lot. With that being said, I've been beating the absolute piss out of mine uh, for testing. Um, I'm at 1500 miles and I have not experienced a regen. Now, what I have been doing is I have been watching the DPF soot load and anytime the soot load starts to get uh, a little bit higher in my opinion uh, i just go drive it on the highway go for a road trip somewhere that i needed to go um, and the dpf soot load goes back down from the generated heat um, so uh, i'm gonna end this here um, i like i said i i hope that this uh, is helpful to a lot of people um, to the current customers you're going to be getting um, especially the easy link customers you're going to be getting i'm uploading it to the easy link right now so like right now you are going to your phone's been going off saying hey new tune new tune new tune and we've wrote right in it hey this is you know this right here is where um 
this is the change that we've made. Um, so um, keep that in mind. Um, but as for new customers, this is a big deal. Um, and I do know that we will still be working more on the doors, so opening and closing the doors while driving my truck, I can do it. Um, it just hasn't worked on all trucks so far.